Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode three. This is time for Boom. You will be shocked to hear it's actually Sunday. I know, I know, this will be the first and only time we do this with this season. We just haven't had a chance. I've been dodging spoilers left, right and centre, but I've done it. Um, if you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Adam, my fiancé, who joins me for... Um, like the new Doctor Who episodes because he's also a Doctor Who fan and um, I, I'm i kind enough to let him on the channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. Right, boom. Very intrigued about this one. I think, um, how long is it? 45 minutes. Probably it's being most hyped because old um, guess who's back? Back again. Moffat's back. Tell a friend. Sometimes I do need to remember this goes out on YouTube. Okay, so I'm just really excited. It looks a bit darker. It looks a bit more nitty gritty Doctor Who, which I was really happy with the first two episodes. Space Babies was definitely on the weirder side of things. The Devil's Chord was right up my street. I thought it was so, so, so good. I think I gave it... You gave it an eight, I, eight and a half. No, you gave it eight. I think I gave it nine out of ten. Um... So yeah, I'm just hoping for some good dark Doctor Who and I'm hoping for a really good performance from Shooty. That's my, that's what I'd really like to see. And I'd like to see a little bit more from Millie. Millie still needs to grow on me a little bit. Not that I'm saying I don't like her. I just need to see a bit more depth to the character. If you're interested in the full length. So from Patreon, as always. And oh, I was meant to say thank you to Scott. Yes. Um... I've already put it up behind me and you can't see it, but I just want to say a huge thank you to Scott who sent us a wonderful engagement parcel full of lovely, lovely things, including season 15 of the season 15 collection from the classic era. So thank you so, so much, Scott. It was so incredibly kind of you. Um, and Adam's very happy with his fizzy peaches. So yeah, I just wanted to give, obviously I've messaged Scott privately, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. And let's go. She's the new companion. Don't have the divinity. Okay. She's in the next series. Wendy, give us a minute, love. Hey, Canto. There's Listen, bishops. Seriously, God is my witness. It's like on Luke my and the soul, eternal. Is that the same? Oh, no, I don't know. I can't remember. I'll let you see my tattoo. She's the new companion. It's not on general view, which makes it more exciting, given me. Cars, cars, where are you? It's... Are you okay? It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm not injured. Just stay where you are. I'll just... <laughs> she was the dinner lady in the Devil's Court. just killed him. Yeah, but they said that there was a problem with the algorithm. Give me a sec. Oh I'm stressed already. I can't risk looking down. The sensors are on here triggered. Why hasn't it set off already when you stepped on it? Impact activates the sensors. Now it's confirming if there's a live target on it. One wrong move and Boom! I go all food mixer. What's 
wrong? Nice. Ruby, have you seen something? <sighs> oh, Ruby, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Your first time on a new planet. It flips your stomach, doesn't it? Wow. A brand new sky. How is it her first Star time? Three. Are they even planets? It's the first episode she's Three. been in. Uh, yeah, but in a different time. They said they've been together for six Mind months, you, so they've not gone on an alien planet in that time. Goosebumps. I mean, most armies would notice that they were fighting smoke and shadows, but not this lot, Ruby. You know why? Because they have faith. Shut up! Faith! Dad to dad, you never let them down, right? Ever. To the end, right? Dad to dad, dust to dust. Mm -hmm. Am I right? So he can't. He's just an AI simulator. I'll be back to you, 
Why did you even come out here? Why were you looking for me? Kanto. Do you like me? Of course I like you. Everyone knows I like you. Except Posh Graham. Who now thinks I like him? I mean, it was on as if I thought you could have warned me. <laughs> What is it? What is happening? <laughs> Kanto, talk to me. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Oh Where no. Are you? I can't. Are you injured? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Just... Oh, it's like silence in the library. Shock. Yeah. Oh no. Kanto. You are identified as Mundy Flynn, my designated favourite person. Here is a personal message recorded just for you. If anything happens to me, I want you to know that I love you. And honestly, it's okay that you don't love me back. The ambulance killed him. Oh my gosh. good wasn't it <laughs> yeah. okay i don't even know where to start with that um mundy mundy flynn she is in i mean that sorry if this is a spoiler but they've not kept it a secret that she's in have you even seen it oh, do you follow them on um no. instagram they'd announced the companion for the series two but i didn't think that she was we would see her here, but we've already been introduced to her. So whether it's, do you remember with Martha? Martha yeah. was in an episode before she became Martha, but she was a different character. Yeah. So whether that's the same thing or she's actually coming back as Mundy, um, that was a nice surprise. Should we just talk about Shooty's performance? Because I think that was the, like the pinnacle. Um, I just thought his performance was unbelievable. Like, he was literally stood on a landmine 95% yeah. of that episode. And I just thought he did an unbelievable job. Like, I'm fully backing him as the Doctor anyway. Like, to me, he is the Doctor. He works as the Doctor. We're four episodes in now with the Christmas special. Yeah. He is the Doctor to me. And that performance just solidified it for me. It was almost like the 10th Doctor's performance in Midnight, where the focus just felt like it was on him. I just, what, what's your opinions on Shooty? I think he did a great job. Yeah. It, he's, he's definitely getting better now that he's finding his feet as the Doctor. Yeah. Because obviously he has an idea beforehand going in, but as he goes in and actually does it, 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 it will solidify what what he thinks works and what doesn't, and he's definitely finding that, that rhythm now. Yeah, I thought his performance was unbelievable, to be honest. Um the bit when Ruby got shot, I had full goosebumps. I just wasn't expecting it. I, I thought that that's what... I didn't think they were going to bring her back. 
I saw that oh. Rennie Keller off there and then three episodes <laughs> in. I, and I was just thinking, that's a bit sudden. What's can you what? imagine? And um, we had the snow again. There is definitely something going on with Ruby Sunday. But we know she's in the next series. So who is she? That old lady. Also, are they going to introduce new characters called Days of the Week? <laughs> I know. Now we've got Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I know, but maybe that could be a part of it. Yeah. You just don't know, do you? Um, that, it made me sad. Like, I welled up at points. That, like, did, that gave me every emotion that you could probably possibly have in one episode. I'm trying to think of what else happened. I can't fully remember. The girl who played Splice was amazing. Um... I just felt like it was the kind of episode where you were pulled straight in, like you had the two guys walking and then obviously he stood on a landmine and he was yeah. gone and it was like, whoa. Stephen did a good job with that episode. That was good. I will say the only thing for me is Millie is just not quite hitting my, um, I don't know what the word is. I, when she did the performance, when she'd got shot, I thought, wow, it's like she can play um, the deeper bit of her character. But when she, I'm finding that in some situations, I just don't think you'd be in light, as light and fluffy if she's acting it. Like when he was initially on the landmine, maybe that's just the sense of humour of the character, but I'd be myself. I wouldn't be making jokes. I'd be thinking, oh my God, like you're going to die. So... I need to connect a little bit more with Millie and it looks like potentially in the next episode we're going to have a Dr. Light episode. So maybe that's there for a reason to make us, you know, I just would like to see a bit more of the serious side of of Ruby as I feel like we've had, it's almost like she's adapted so quickly to being with the Doctor that actually I think you would have some trepidation and I think you would have some fear and I just don't think we've fully seen that yet. Um, also, that that was her first planet. So yeah. they've been travelling for months and that's her first, like, alien planet, I'm assuming. Where the hell have they been going? You know, it's just, there's just something going on. There's something going on. Um, and I, interesting angle with the AI and that they were at war with themselves or with the, yeah, yeah. it was their technology they were was, at war with. Yeah, but it, it, it was a company. Yeah. At the end of the day, trying to make money. Which... Through killing people. You could argue yeah. is related to certain events going on in the world right now. Yeah, you could definitely apply it to a lot of things. What are we giving that out of 10, my darling? Ooh. So you gave Space Babies six, six and, a half. and a half. You gave The Devil's Chord eight. I would... Probably eight and a half, nine. So it's above The Devil's Chord for you. I'd say slightly better, but yeah, yeah. but not but not massively above. It's like, so maybe like an eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half, eight point seven. Why is it? Why is it only a little bit? Like, what was the negatives of that for you? I just feel like it wrapped it up really quickly at the end. It just very quickly just turned around to yeah. just oh yeah no we've 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 over the he's overtaken the the AI yeah. It's kind of Doctor Who, though, isn't it? I know. It's, because it's very Doctor Who and Disney. And... It's because it was such a good build. Yeah. It... That almost, you could have argued, it would have worked as a two-parter. Yes. That we had that build. And then, yes. yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, so that probably took a little bit away, but otherwise, it, I, I think it was a great episode. So. Yeah, I do think it was incredible. Um, I gave Space Babies seven. Seven, yeah which maybe I'd put that down to a 6.5. I gave The Devil's Chord 9. Yeah. Shooty's performance in that, though, just blew my mind. Like, I don't know. I'm giving nine and a half, then. No, I don't think... I really liked The Devil's Chord. Um, it's a half. Jinx was just... Oh, Jinx is just everything I like in, a, in like, a villain. Um, I also have ordered the Jinx pin my badge. Sorry. Keep calling them Jinx. That's their actual name. I know. <laughs> yeah. I keep calling them Jinx. Maestro. I've ordered the Maestro pin badge. I've ordered two. I've ordered one for me 
and one for the giveaway which will be happening on my doctor who rewatch so make sure you head over there maestro um maestro's performance for me has like stuck with me mm -hmm. like it's really really just I guess the same way when we've had like the master appear in certain situations that you just don't forget it. Yeah. Um, I'm pro I'll probably I'll probably match it with a nine. It would be an eight point five or a nine for me. Okay. Um, I really liked the concept actually, the idea of standing on a landmine and yeah, um, kind of being stuck and the doctor being the one in trouble. I'm really looking forward to next week's. We're in Wales. We love Wales. Um, and I'm ready to see what Ruby's got for us, you know? I'm yeah. ready I'm I'm ready to see what Millie's gonna bring to the table. Um we will be watching it in the evening of the Saturday. Or maybe the afternoon of the Saturday, because we don't have time in the morning. So we will be spoiler dodging again. <laughs> this midnight thing is really not helpful. I will say, and I know that a lot of you do agree, it's just not, it's just not the easiest. I think it should be dropping at midnight in America or no. That'd be 5am here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but at least that's something. Yeah. Because it, I, I'm having to not go on Twitter. I'm having to mute certain things. If it's 7pm here, like normal time, it'd be... Uh... 2pm like 2 2 p.m. Eastern time. But I think that's just how it should be. Yeah. Like... Doctor Who is ours, you know? Yeah. The midnight thing is just because we're having to look ahead and think, right, so the weekends that I think the finale will fall on, you could not, we could, it could not be falling on a busy weekend for us. That We're going to have to stay up to midnight to watch it, which is fine. But I'd rather not have to stay up till midnight. I'm 32. I did my bed. Anyway, nine from me, 8.59 from me, 8.5. 8.5 from me. So actually, I think the ratings, considering we're three episodes into this series, not including the Christmas special, I don't think we're doing too shabby. Um, so yes, that's that. We will see you next weekend for episode four. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and feelings and have a lovely week until we see you on Saturday. Bye. Bye.